No, I don't want to be on strike. I want to be in there. And I'm stuck out here because I need safe staffing. And without safe staffing, I can't go back in there. It's very upsetting that we are out here, believe me. The hospital says we planned this strike. We wanted this strike. The union did not want this strike. The members voted to change the conditions in the hospital. They are dedicated nurses that go above and beyond for these patients. But well, we've been having contract negotiations since April 10th, and mostly the first part was all about language, and then when we hit the meat of the contract, it is about safe staffing, how we would like proper staffing. They've called the guidelines, they've called the ratios, they've called the standards. It all means we would like to have this, the right amount of nurses for the right amount of patients. I mean, it takes 30 minutes to, to feed a baby. You have four babies, you're around the clock moving. Um, and again, at the end of the day, we want to give the best care that we can to our patients. And right now, we're just not able to do that. On adolescents, we got a lot of patients that were complete care patients, meaning they were bed bound. They needed someone to clean them, bathe them, brush their teeth, basically do everything for them, feed them. Um, and it was very difficult when you had a lot of those kinds of patients. You can't multiply yourself. We can't be in all those rooms at one time. It's, it hurts us deeply to know that we can't provide what people need when they need it. To ask someone to hold their urine until we have time to get to them, that's a matter of dignity. We don't want anyone to ever have to suffer in pain longer than they should have to because we can't get a pain medication to them fast enough. Personally, I have almost quit nursing because of patient ratios. I have gone home crying. I have um, gone home feeling defeated. I go home at night, I would have been thinking, did I do this, did I do that? Or did I miss something? And most of the time you go home before you sleep thinking about, did I really give my best to my patient today? The hospital has chosen to replace us with um, nurses from a strike agency. So now they bust in these nurses for three, four times our salary. The hospital right now has uh, two to three nurses uh, to replace one of us. It's insulting. It's insulting and heartbreaking because where are the nurses who built this hospital? The replacement workers that are in there now, they're getting a one to three, one to four ratio. It does not show the value. It does not show the respect, nor the dedication that we have given to that hospital. I just want to have safe staffing for the patients. Um, to have the guidelines, to have the ratios, to have the standards, whatever they're being called, into the contract the way that meets the patient's needs. So we need something that is enforceable that the hospital holds to, not just a number on a piece of paper that we've been using for 10 years. That doesn't work. I think it's important to show my children and to stand up for what you believe in. I've had to explain this to my two children um, two daughters, and I've had to tell them that if it's not us that stands up for our patients, then no one else will. To be honest, I went to nursing school to be a part of this actual union. I need to show my daughters to not sit down and be silent when things are wrong. If they're wrong on the inside, they need to be addressed, and we need to make sure that our patients are safe every single shift every single day. I'm here because it's very important for everybody who comes in as a trauma, as anybody, to have people that care about them and people who are not being exposed to tons of other patients that they can concentrate on the care they're giving you. It's our job to protect them, to look out for them, and make sure that they're getting what they need to heal and be better. I want to be back in my ambulance transferring my patients to New Brunswick to be able to get the best possible care with the rest of the nurses behind me. I want to be at work. I'm here for everybody who's a nurse, everybody who takes care of patients, and everybody who wants to take care of patients safely. That's why I'm here.